And in today's Hearts of Iron 4 video, I am going to be going over how to tell who someone is trading with in Hoi 4. This works obviously for single player and multiplayer. Now with that being said, I also want to thank my Patreons and all supporters of the channel. Without you guys, this video would not be possible. Thank you guys so much. Now, let's get this started. So you're probably wondering why this would actually be an important feature to know in Hoi 4, especially multiplayer, that's where this is going to come in handy most of the time. Basically, here's how it works. Say for example, we're in a spot here, alright? Yugoslavia won't give Germany its land, you know? Who do they think they are? So, in this case, I've decided to go ahead and invade them. Now their divisions look awful, awful strong. Ew. Wow, actually, I am surprised the AI has actually been working on its divisions, okay. Um, anyway. So basically, we want to cut off their supply of steel, because if you look here, that's really the one thing they're pretty much lacking. They got a little bit of steel up there, but that's not really enough to support their weapons. Another thing you can do is right click the nation, and over here under details, right here, you'll see a little bar down here. This pretty much shows their oil, which is showing the green is how much they produce, the blue is how much they import, and the yellow is how much they export. So we can kind of see right here they're getting most of their steel from imports, which obviously they're importing 32 steel. Now that we see this, we go into our trade menu over here, and not a lot of people realize how to do this. You need to click the steel right here. Yes, I'm Germany right now. This is my stats, but the reason they're so bad is because I'm doing the uh, method to get some heavy and uh, medium tanks early on. So you go over here to trade, and you're going to find Yugoslavia. This is what most people think. Right? You, you can't really tell any details from this. What you really need to do is start up here. Alright? You need to start under the steel and just let it go by how much the most countries have to export. Now, because France has the most, you can hover over it and it even shows right here they are trading the steel to Yugoslavia. Another way to tell this is if you say were to go to oil, we could see we're getting it from Venezuela. Well, if you click the country, Let's just use the United States, for example. You can also see trade partners. So you can see the United States is trading oil with uh, Dominion of Canada, Ecuador, and Uruguay. Which, why, why is, I don't know where Ecuador or Uruguay is. Oh, Uruguay's down here. I'm kind of confused, though, why they would be importing oil. Hmm. They're doing something fishy down there in Uruguay. So, guys, that is pretty much how to tell. Uh, what someone is doing and the reason again you would want to do this is say for example if you were to invade I don't know if you were getting ready to invade Poland and you really wanted to kind of cut off their weapon supply Or this is a perfect case for the United States and the Allies if they want to cut off oil to the Axis They can just kind of go over here to trade and then just hover down here over export and see who they're trading with or Like I said a second way you can do it just hover over here and you can see Venezuela is trading oil with us Germany and Japan now, you can also change this up if you have enough influence and trade and request all of their stuff. Which I think we have the most influence, yeah. So we could do that and it would actually cut Japan down a lot by the oil. Or not the oil, but it's hard to explain. I'll cover that in some other video. But yeah, that is pretty much how you would be able to, like I said, just tell who someone's trading with. And again, the reason you would want to do this is because if you're going to go to war with somebody early on... You want to cut off their weapon supply, just kind of look at what they're doing. If they don't have steel, you go to the war with the person who they're getting their steel from. Or you can kind of, you know, you can just kind of see ways to starve them out, essentially, is the way I look at it. And it's a very important tool. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully you will understand how to uh, basically spy on your neighbors now, if you will, to see what they're doing. Again, here's France over here. We can see they don't have any chromium, but again, you know, we can look over here and... They're importing a lot of oil, so they're probably working on weapons and stuff. And then we go up here, and we just start hovering through these here. Until we could find who is giving oil to France. It's actually probably the United Kingdom or something, I would guess. Nope, they're giving it to Australia. But you get the idea how it works. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like and a comment down below, as it helps my channel out tremendously. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.